Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansi. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. And we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we have a pretty interesting show for you guys. Uh, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, uh, my name is Charles Sabansi. My handle is C-T-A-B-A-N-Z. If you want to follow the channel on Instagram, same name as the channel, Dreamers Pro. And if you want today's full show before it comes out on YouTube, it's streaming for free on the Dreamers Pro podcast that we have pinned below let me get let me let me let me just go ahead and get into this topic um into this topic here you know <clears throat> now that the playing tournament uh has concluded we're finally back to business as usual what am i talking about we're now back to real basketball playing tournament uh seemed to be some type of suspended reality that uh a lot of people try to make um uh, what is it? A lot out of it, right? But anyway, the Lakers ended up winning that series. And in the aftermath of winning that series, some of LeBron and his supporters uh, decided to do the unthinkable. And we did, we produced a show on this. We produced comments on this, pictures, people on the internet. They now tried to turn it into this thing of, oh, well, you know, now LeBron is really catching up to Michael Jordan. He's finally, he what is it? He finally has his fifth ring and fifth MVP. I just recently saw a post this morning and I woke up and someone had the, 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 I couldn't even, I don't even know the word to describe it, had the courage to actually put up a post. Think about this. To put up a post, think about this, of LeBron James, excuse me, of LeBron and Kobe in an image looking up at the rafters and then put a picture, I believe, of Larry Bird or someone with the Celtics talking about the Lakers now have one more championship than the Celtics. And I'm like... Is this not the most pathetic fan base in all of sports? Is this not the most desperate fan base in all of sports? These guys are so eager. I don't understand it. They are so eager to run up there and say, hey, man, you know, LeBron is now caught up to Jordan. And you know what? There are people that say it and they say, oh, it's he's two or he's past Jordan. And, and I, I'm being honest with you. I don't know what you guys are talking about. When you say it, I truly am. I am confounded at what you guys are seeing that I don't see. What is it that you see that I don't see? What is this thing that makes you say, oh, I, I don't, I, I, I truly don't understand it. I don't understand it because in their primes, it wasn't even a question. Now, to me, I think the reason Jordan retired because he's like, I already beat these dudes. What am I doing? Okay, I've, I've won six championships. They can never beat me in the finals. We've never even been to game seven. Why am I still playing? What do I still need to prove? I believe that was Jordan's. Like, okay, so what am I doing? I'm done. Like, I'm tired. It's like you playing somebody at the park. You whoop their ass so many times. They're like, no, keep playing. Keep playing. I'm like, I'm done. I beat you. Like, yo, why are we? I'm out. I'm out. Let me go home. Like, let me, let me leave. But nevertheless, these people try to make it seem like as if it's some competition when in all reality, I don't think it's not. I don't think it is. So I came across a stat, a few stats uh, that I want to share with you that to me explain, perfectly explain uh, why this thing um, uh, is an absolute joke. But I'll, before I get into that stat, I want to refer to a post that we published on the channel about, let me say, two hours ago. And I was somewhere having coffee. And it just occurred to me, I just got annoyed. It, I got annoyed and then something made me say this. And I said, I have to say it. Do you realize that every single year, a LeBron team, when it, a LeBron team, when it underperforms, there's always trade talks. Every single year for like the past 10 years. Now this year is the same thing. If he's so great, why can't he get it done? LeBron is the only top five player that has been a part of like a million trades. The whole conversation about the Lakers now is, who can they trade for? I challenge you to find a season over the last 10 years where this has not been the narrative. And when he loses, is always the coach, coaches, or his teammates. It's never him. Like, damn, you want everybody? Ain't you to go? This was something that was bothering me. And I'll tell you why it was bothering me. I was, um, what is it? I Yeah, I jumped on the internet this morning and I came across a clip from... Uncle Shay Shay or Club Shay Shay, excuse me, with Gilbert Arenas and um, Gilbert Arenas and Shannon Sharp. And I looked at the clip and, you know, you had the thumbnail and they had Gilbert Arenas on. And then they had a picture of LeBron. I'm like, okay. And they're like, why did the Lakers lose? I'm like, I'm like, oh my God. 
it's not that this team went out there and played somebody that they and they beat them. We now have to get into this big conversation of why this is happening and what can be done. No other team gets this conversation, by the way. And I'm like, why is this always a conversation? If you go around looking at videos of people that are Laker fans and all of this, this is all they put. This is all they talk about. Who are we going to get? Who are we going to get? Who are we going to trade for? Can it be Zach Levine? Can we be this guy? Can we trade the coach? Can we trade Jenny Buss? Can we trade the mailman? Can we trade? It's always about who can we trade. The minute losing occurs, it's either who's going to get traded or it's the imagine, just imagine, you're someone that covers the Lakers. You call yourself a sports commentator. And your analysis always begins with when they lose, fire the coach. Every single day, that's your whole angle. Whenever the Lakers lose, it's always the coach. That's your own, that's your whole analysis. It's always, which means that it's always a blame to go around. The best player on the team can, can never get any blame. But let them win. They'll be the same ones up there twerking it up, knocking drinks, not knocking people out, pushing people through the floor, twerking all over them, busting it down, snatching ones. Nobody threw at them. Just so they can gyrate. And to me, I just don't get it. That's the first thing. I want to give you guys some staggering information here, which, which goes back to my original post. Are you guys aware? Since the decision back in 2011, do you realize that 66 players on LeBron James teams have been traded? Let me let me let me let me say the number once more. Since the decision, 66 players have been traded since LeBron got there, uh, since, since, since he made that decision. From 2014 to 2018, 43 players got traded in Cleveland. 43. That's about 10 a year. This is unheard of. Uh, totally unheard of. I came across another article from fadeawayworld.net and it has the following headline it says LeBron James teams uh LeBron James teams have traded 118 players in first round picks while Michael Jordan's teams traded only 35. Michael Jordan and LeBron James have been central figures in, of the GOAT and be a GOAT since uh LeBron won spectacularly with the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2016. While his longevity stats have strengthened his case, LeBron still falls behind Michael Jordan in terms of accolades. And there's another stat now that shows why MJ's career might be more impressive. During LeBron's career on three different teams, the organizations have traded 118 players and first round picks. This is a whopping 83 more than Michael Jordan. Some of it can be put down to longevity. LeBron has played five seasons more than Jordan did, but the difference is still too high. This shows that LeBron's teams have made a lot more moves to help him in comparison to Jordan, whereas uh, and Kobe done it 50, uh, 56 times and LeBron has and and, uh, and uh, Michael Jordan has done it 35 times. And again, we're about the witnesses. And I don't even think that I don't even think this list is updated. This article was published July 24th. There's going to be some more movement this year again. And and I don't I don't understand why this is always a conversation. Why is this always the default conversation? I don't really, really understand it. I just don't understand it. And with all of these trades, I want to give you guys some information. Do you know that? This is a fact. Do you know that? Kobe Bryant and LeBron James have lost at least, hear this, hear this very well. Kobe Bryant and LeBron James together have lost at least nine playoff series. Hear this, nine playoff series when they played with at least one All-Star. You aware of this? Kobe Bryant, my favorite player of all time. Let me throw him in here. And it's one of the reasons he's not better than Michael Jordan in my view. Kobe Bryant and LeBron have lost at least nine playoff series when they play with at least one All-Star as a teammate. Do you know Jordan only lost one? Are you aware of this? And you know the team that he lost to? was Shaquille O'Neal's Orlando Magic with Penny Hardaway and DJ. That's the team he lost to. I think Horace Grant was on that team, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. That is all. So how you guys think, if you ask a typical LeBron fan how to explain why he thinks he, he's better than no, they can't have any sensible argument. They can't have any sensible argument. And what I don't get is this. Uh, in closing, 
these gentlemen always sit up here and, and count, hey, how many videos have you produced on LeBron? And I'm trying to figure out, when did you and I sit down and incorporate Dreamers Pro for you to be asking me how many shows I, I produced? And the thing I don't get is, a lot of the creators that you support who sit up there and twerk it up and pour honey all over their stomachs every single day for LeBron, yeah, I don't be seeing you dudes in the comment section asking them how many LeBron, because they're only saying nice things. That's, it's not about me talking a lot about LeBron. It's me not twerking. So what I ask you guys is the following, because there are people, let me say this, there are people in the sports media sp uh, pay, uh, space, a lot of them, uh, um, I think uh, what's one of them, of course, Two Raw, uh, 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 Ticket TV, two, uh, Ticket TV. you have, I think it was basketball, fitness, and uh, no, 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 I think it's basketball facts, you have NBA rants or something, I forgot the other guy, he's from New York, he's, he's a light-skinned dude. But there are a few of them. And I'm trying to think, who are the, who are the channels that are, they have, let's say, about 150 plus subscri thousand subscribers that are talking the way we're talking? Name them, list them. And then let's go through the channels that have at least 100, forget about 100, I even went to them. Start from 50 and go all the way up. Nah, forget about 50. Start from 20 and go all the way up. Then all they do is sit up there and twerk it up all over the place for LeBron every single day. Why is it when it comes my turn, I got to stop? I don't be seeing you dudes running over there counting their videos, so why are you counting mine? I don't understand this. You're talking about, I have a chronic issue about talking about LeBron, yet you're here. So how do you know? You know, when I was single once, I asked a girl, she's like, why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? I said, how do you know I was looking at you? <gasps> hey, why are you always looking at me? I asked her. I said, how do you know I'm looking at you? How do you know I'm looking at you? You'd have to be looking at me, right? For me to, for you to understand that I'm looking at you. So how do you guys know this? I can't get rid of you dudes. You're like a toilet that won't flush. You're like a toilet that will not flush. All they do is sit there and count the video. And I'm trying to figure out when did me and you get into a contract where you count how many. And if I talk about LeBron for the next 30 videos, what does it have to do with you? What does it mean that I talk? So what if I decide to talk? I can talk about him as much as I want. I'm trying to figure out how is it your business? Look, look, he spoke about, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. Guys, what do we say about this? Why is he talking about him so much? I'm like, why is this your business? What's wrong with you people? So to me, listen, um, uh, you know, it, 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 it just never ends. And if this is bothering some of you guys, we know we're doing a good job. We know we're doing a good job. Because there are people that are, quite frankly, sick of it. Do you know how much of a cornball you got to be? to post a picture of LeBron and Kobe Bryant standing looking up at the rafters. Do you understand the level of a Pop-Tart you gotta be? To post a picture of LeBron and Kobe looking up at the rafters, you got actual banners, then you got that parking ticket hanging up there that they call an in-season banner. That's what I'm gonna call it, a parking ticket hanging up there. And then you're gonna put it next to the boss and look, look, we got one more champion. Do you realize the type of pop heart corn ball you got to be to do that and the part that kills me is this and i gotta close with this since when do you guys start copying my lingo like yo son get off me you buying my like y'all buying me like a shark like yo get off of me now y'all copying my lingo using it back at me in the comments look he's a corn ball he's a dweet like yo get off of me god like get off of me like god damn get off get off of me man I gotta throw some raid on you or something. These cockroaches, like, get off of me. Golly, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but the Jordan fan, Kobe fans, I got you. I got, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say my piece. And they gonna feel any type of way that they want it for. You know what I mean? Because they gonna be here. These are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. Let me catch you guys on the next show. Peace.